As the dawn sky brightens, a shrill call resounds from the mist-enshrouded sugarcane fields of South Taiwan, signaling the start of a new day. The Formosan ring-necked pheasant was once commonly seen in Taiwan. Nicknamed Screaming Chicken by local people on account of its blood-curdling call, the species was formally recorded by the British naturalist Robert Swinhoe in 1836. Apart from small populations in Hualien, Taidong, Tainan, and Taichung counties, Formosan ring-necked pheasants have now all but disappeared from the island. The species is listed as a rare and protected bird under the wildlife conservation law. Originally, the Formosan ring-necked pheasant inhabited mixed forests and grasslands. However, with the development of the local sugar industry and other agricultural change in Taiwan, the species gradually adapted to living in sugarcane, melon, and yam fields. At a time when animal protein was scarce in rural areas, alongside bandicoot rats and Formosan hares, it became known as one of the three delicacies of the cane field. Relatively large in size and eye-catchingly colored, Formosan ring-necked pheasants were more easily spotted than other native pheasants, including the Mikado pheasant and Swinho's blue pheasant, because it lived close to humans. But now its future is in jeopardy. So why exactly did this once common, beautiful bird become so rare? Let's find out more about the species. Male and female Formosan ring-necked pheasants look quite different. Adult males are mostly covered in speckled bronze plumage. The patch of iridescent indigo blue feathers on the neck and head is particularly stunning. The species gets its name from the broken line of white feathers around the neck. During the breeding season, the male's teardrop-shaped wattle becomes broader and redder, and its crest feathers stand more upright. This regal appearance and its perfect jewel-like coat of glossy feathers gave it the name Pearl of the Grasslands. On their feet, males have a long sharp spur which distinguishes them from other birds. Plumage is used to attract a mate and, as we shall find out, the spurs also come in useful during the breeding season. Female ring-necked pheasants are smaller in size and considerably plainer in appearance. Like simple country lasses, they dress in drab browns. Only during the breeding season do they add a touch of color, a sultry smudge of orangey-red shadow around the eyes. Generally forming small groups, the pheasants scratch and peck at the ground in search of food. As well as grain crops, they feed on the leaves, stalks, flowers, fruit, and seeds of various plants. Sometimes they can be seen eating fallen guavas, tangerines, and other fruit in orchards. Other items on their menu include worms and insects. These provide protein. Researchers have found that the pheasants often use their feet and beak simultaneously when feeding. The feet scratch away leaves while they peck at the ground. Small grains of sand and grit are ingested to aid food digestion and to provide valuable minerals. In 
In the heat of the midday sun, the ring-necked pheasant hides in the cool undergrowth, where it rests and preens its feathers. Sand and dust baths help keep them clean. By puffing out their feathers and beating their wings in the dust, the birds scatter warm sand onto their bodies. This helps maintain the precious feathers that enable them to fly for their lives and find a mate. Ring-necked pheasants face a number of natural predators, including feral cats and dogs, rodents, snakes, and raptors. Understanding the laws of natural selection, the bird is constantly on the alert. Any movement in the grass sends it running for the undergrowth. It crouches in the long grass, stock still until danger has passed. Once the coast is clear, it slowly makes its escape. In times of necessity, pheasants can take to the air in short spurts of flight. As evening approaches, one by one the pheasants fly up into the thickly leaved trees to roost for the night. Up high and out of harm's way, they can sleep in peace without fear of cat or snake attack. At present, only a handful of people in Taiwan are researching the Formosan ring-necked pheasant's ecology and behavior. To understand populations in the wild, researchers venture out in the deep night to catch individuals and attach radio transmitters to their backs. After releasing, these birds can then be tracked to learn more about their activity and behavior. 